Ricky Lee Green's father and grandfather hurt him badly for many years. His father hurt him in ways that no one could ever think of. Ricky Lee Green's father, Bill Green, used a BB gun to make his son run away from the porch where he was sitting when he was six years old. On the count of ten, his father told him to run while he shot at him with small metal BBS. The six-year-old tried to outrun the BBS, but it didn't work. Every time he was hit, the only thing his father ever said was, maybe you should learn to run faster. This is just one way that his father has hurt him all his life. He was also beaten, verbally abused, and sexually abused. Ever since he was a baby, all Ricky Green could remember his father saying was that he was bad and would never be good. Ricky Green has said many times in his, his grandfather sexually abused him over and over again when he was a child. Ricky could never understand why they always hurt him if they were supposed to love him. The wedding took place on February 18, 1984. Ricky thought that she was the most like a real family he had ever seen. There was only sex in their relationship. After only two months, their marriage started to get worse. Ricky thought that Mary looked to other people for sexual satisfaction. Ricky was in a lot of trouble. He drank a lot and drove all over to get away from the real world. When Mary came home from work one night, Ricky was sitting in the living room drinking a lot. He attacked her with a knife and then raped her. When he fell asleep, she took her things and left, never to come back. After a few weeks, Ricky met a woman named Sharon Dollar. On their first night together, all they did was make out and drink. Three days after they started dating, Sharon asked Ricky to move in with her, and he agreed. Ricky was happier than he had ever been with Sharon, but he kept drinking more and more. Sharon stuck Ricky's penis with a needle one night when they were having hot, passionate sex because she wanted to taste blood. Ricky complained about the pain at first, but it was too late. She had already started sucking the blood out of his penis, which took away the pain. This was the first time Ricky noticed Sharon's pleasure in blood. Jeffrey Davis, a teenager, was the first person Ricky hurt. Ricky had met Davis before and since Sharon was out of town, he invited him to hang out with him. The two went out for a drive. Ricky stopped to go to the bathroom. When he got back in the car, Davis was masturbating in the passenger seat. Davis asked Ricky if he wanted to touch him and Ricky got angry and beat Davis. They kept driving around and the more Davis complained, the more Ricky beat him until Ricky finally pulled over. They drove over to a quiet place and pulled Davis out of the car, where he was beaten and cut up with a knife. Ricky killed Davis, then cut Davis's penis off and threw it into a nearby lake. He then threw the body away in a private place nearby. Ricky Dollar and Sharon Dollar got married on September 20, 1980. The next person to be killed was for the sexual pleasure of Ricky and Sharon Green, who are now married. Ricky was driving down the road when he saw a woman asking for a ride. He stopped and gave her a ride. The woman stuck her head through the window and said her name was Montana. Ricky asked her if she would like to take a shower and get clean. They went back to his house after she agreed. He went into the bathroom while Montana was taking a shower, opened the shower curtain, and asked her if he could join her. They had sex in the shower, and then they kept going in the bedroom. He then told her to go pick up his wife from work. Sharon was surprised to see a woman in the car when he came to get her. When they got back to the house, Ricky asked Sharon out and suggested that they all have sex. They said yes and went into the bedroom. When Sharon walked up to the door naked, Montana changed her mind, but it was too late because the two had already made up their minds.